so with our lives very different these last few weeks, um, and we don't know exactly how much longer this will be, I wanted to help uh, anybody that wants to figure this out. I know watching services sometime on Sunday, and now that we're going to live stream on Wednesday, watching it on a, um, a computer screen or a tablet screen uh, or it, certainly on a phone can be difficult. Everything's small. It's a lot harder here. I just wanted to sort of walk you through a simple way to take what um, we're putting out on Facebook and Vimeo and YouTube and take it from a screen from your computer and put it on your TV. It, it is simple sometimes, but like any technology issue, it can cause difficulty. It can There can be things that come up that are hard to figure out. I'm just going to walk you through some simple steps. So, I'm going to do something I've not done before. We're upstairs in our bonus room in our new house. This is um, this just an extra sort of attic area that we turned into a playroom for the kids. But it's also a music room, and today, it, and recently, it's been my office. So, I'm going to, uh, we're, we're still settling in. We've only been here about a month, but I'm going to take um, my computer, and like you would see on a Sunday morning, uh, you bring up Facebook, and I've never uh, connected this to um, this TV up here um, that was given to us, but I'm going to show you how you would do it. So if uh, you have your computer, I'm working on a Mac. I'm also going to show you how to do it on a Windows computer, but some basic things are pretty, uh, pretty standard. Now, on a Mac, this is a, a newer one. It's only got USB-C co connections. You're going to need to get a converter so, uh, or an adapter. This, this is uh, pretty basic, and it just takes the USB-C co connection, and it exports it into an HDMI connection or VGA. Right now, I'm going to show you how to do it as an HDMI connection. So, you come to your TV, um, you're depending on what model TV and how new it is, um, HDMI is pretty standard and has been standard for several years. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to find an HDMI input. Um, so this one's got three on it. We've already got two <laughs> games, game systems hooked up into the first two HDMI connections. But usually, you'll have one on the side, uh, but not always. You may have to go around back to find uh, an HDMI. And if you only have one input, you may have to remove that HDMI cable, say from a DVD player or a Blu-ray player, and use that as the connection to the computer. But in this case, um, I've got uh, an HDMI right here on the side. It's pretty easy. Okay, so there we found the input. Then you want to get you an HDMI cable. I know that there are, uh, you can spend a lot of money on HDMI cables. I don't think that makes any sense. There is very, uh, I mean, unless you're running a super high quality Blu-ray, um, signal that requires an extremely expensive HDMI cable, the simple, inexpensive cables from Walmart will work. Um, this is this is exactly what this is. It's a very six foot cable from Walmart, so obviously you just plug it into the HDMI slot. Then I'm going to plug um, my adapter. I'm going to plug my adapter into the other side of the HDMI, ca HDMI cable. Then, now if I was doing this and we were all sitting around this, I would push the TV back in. This cable's long enough that I can put it on the ground. You're going to need to find the right source on the TV. So um, I'm going to either find on the remote control the source button uh, or input button. It can be all different ways. On this one, I have uh, an input button that I can press right there, or I can press HDMI. So I'm going to press HDMI because I have three HDMI inputs, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and HDMI side. Obviously, that's what we're using, the HDMI side. So once that's selected 
and it's it's wanting to get a signal I'm gonna plug in my computer the adapter and plug it into the side now what should happen is pretty immediately it should recognize that I'm sending a signal and right there you can already see that on the TV I've gone to our Facebook page okay so the way it's set up right now, I'm just going to show you, the way it's set up right now is that it is duplicating the screen, meaning everything that you see on this computer screen, you're seeing on the TV. There is a way to do separate screens, so you're not seeing the same thing, but the simplest way is to leave it just like this. So whatever you do here is exactly how it's going to, be, how it's going to show up there. So if I wanted to go to the video, in, in, in your case, on a Sunday morning, it would be the live video that would show up. But right now, I'm just going to call up the video from Sunday. So this is the way you would probably see it on Sunday morning. So you can already see that, you know, it, it's, it's, this is uh, the recording from this past Sunday. So we're hearing everything we need to hear. Um, what I would do if I was doing this at home, I would go ahead and go down here to the bottom right hand corner of this part to enter full screen and I would go full screen. And once you go full screen, now it's filling up the entire screen. Now, um, so you can listen to it as loud as you want to listen to it since I'm a music guy. I tend to go loud, and if you if you have a sound system, I mean, really, you can make this a, a, a lot better experience on a Sunday morning. You got kids around watching the um, the live cast, and you want to sing with songs. If you have a sound system hooked up, you've got a surround sound set up or whatever. Turn it on. This is a super inexpensive little amplifier that I bought several years ago, and I've got it going through these. I've got it going through these old speakers that my grandfather gave me. Um, and so let's just go ahead. You can already hear. It sounds lots better. Jason's giving us a good prelude. And further on down into the service, if I'm... I'm for thy return with such a that might be too loud, <laughs> but we get the sense, the, the, the lyrics are easy to see, the sound is a lot uh, better, whatever your sound system setup is, it's a pretty simple setup, and um, for the time being, for however long we have to do this, it makes it a little bit better than just sitting around a computer or certainly a phone. I hope this helps, I'll shoot a few others also.